That gives students a second spring concert. You're watching Xavier News on the Muskie. And I'm Lucy Nowakowski. We have a lot in store for you this week, including March Madness, events on campus, and as always, we'll be bringing you Wilmer Monty and P.J. O'Keefe. March Madness is in full swing, and to help students enjoy the madness, Ryan's Pub will be offering game day specials today for the Xavier Portland game. If the Muskies win tonight, Ryan's has agreed to stay open Sunday at 2 p.m. for the next Xavier game. Ever feel like you were doing the walk of death while crossing Dina Avenue? Emily Dumont has more on this dangerous crossing. The days of looking both ways before you cross the street and then making a safe and easy cross seem to be over. The pedestrian crossing at Victory Parkway has been and continues to bring trouble to both students and drivers on their commute to class. I don't really feel safe crossing the street and just kind of take a risk and hope I don't get hit. Like Victory Parkway, the pedestrian crossing at Dana Avenue can be more difficult due to the lack of a traffic light high-speed traffic and the curves in the road that prevent long-distance sighting of cars and pedestrians. Personally, I like to see I don't know, a stoplight or some sort of elevated walkway um, because quite frankly, the way it is now, it's, it's not safe at all for students. While it's, many students have numerous ideas on how to find a solution for these problems, I visited campus police to see what kind of advice they could offer students when crossing these difficult and sometimes dangerous pedestrian crossings. The crosswalk there on Dana by University Drive is, in the 10 years I've been here, has always been an issue. Cars do come up there very fast during rush hour. Um, the city, it is a city street, so the city maintains it. Xavier can't force the city to put a, a light there or anything like that. Um, students, when crossing there, should make sure they are looking both ways and use caution. Um, make sure that when they get started, don't dilly-dally or hang around. Get through the walk, crosswalk as fast as you can. Um, it is Ohio law that cars are supposed to stop for pedestrians in the crosswalk, but most of them don't. So the uh, best thing to do is use your head when you're walking there, and it's really only during rush hours when it's a major problem. This is Emily Dumont reporting for Channel 18 News on the Muskie. For the second time this semester, SAC will be bringing live performances to campus. Artists such as Jax Mannequin, Matt Nathanson, and Low vs. Diamond will be there on April 20th at 7.30 p.m. Tickets go on sale Wednesday, March 25th at 1 p.m. outside of the Gallier Student Center. and will be $10 per ticket. Students can purchase up to three tickets per all card. This event is not open to the public. Xavier's Office of Interfaith Community Engagement would like to invite students to engage in dialogue Tuesday, March 24th at 9 p.m. on the first floor of the Gallagher Student Center. Share and listen to personal stories while enjoying snacks and experiences. For more information, you can contact Rabbi A.B. Ingberg at ingbergA at xavier.edu. Rabbi A.B. will be returning from Darfur today, so I'm sure he'll have some interesting tales to tell. This week, Andrea Perry has the update with partying incidents going on around campus with Copbeat. Hi Musketeers, thank you for joining us again for Copy. This is Lieutenant Smith again with us this week, filling in for Officer Grossman. Thanks again for being with us this week. No problem. Hi Andrea. Yes. Um, there's been a couple partying incidents. Can you tell us about that? Well, let's see. What did we have this week? Um, we had a party complaint at the village. I believe we discussed that one. Um, it was a, turned out to be a loud party or an unknown type disturbance. When the officers showed up, they discovered six people underage drinking. And unfortunately, if you're drinking underage, you're going to be brought up on disciplinary charges. So that matter's turned over to residents' life. Um, we had another incident where several students decided to walk through the construction area, the roped off construction area in front of the Gallagher Center. And that stuff is roped off for a reason. And when the officers checked on the students that were in there, they discovered that they had been drinking. So once again, underage students drinking. Unfortunately, they were cited for underage drinking. And um, we want to remind everybody that that area is roped off for a reason. And when you're drinking, your coordination is affected, your ability to use good judgment. So please be careful, stay out of that area. 
we don't want anybody to get hurt. There's one other exciting incident that involved the Norwood police on Montgomery and two students. Can you tell us about that? Off yeah, one of our officers was on routine patrol in the area. You know, Xavier actually goes into Norwood now and actually observed two people fighting on Montgomery Road. The officer stopped to help out, discovered they both were students, um, separated them, called the Norwood police since it was out of our jurisdiction, who came and took over, and the students were arrested for disorderly conduct and underage consumption of alcohol. Once again, the theme, th the theme for this week seems to be underage consumption. Remember students to be responsible about drinking. If you're underage, you're going to get cited if you're caught. And next week, join us for a special edition of Copy when we take it to the parking lot. This is Andrea Perry reporting for Channel 18 on the Muskie.